Ladies and gentlemen, Mutant and Ninjas, I am the Comic Outlaw, and are you ready? And I mean, are you ready for Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Hell yes. Your boy's been wanting to do this for a while, I've been promising it, and here we go. We are going to roll the dice and see where this flows. Uh, I've been waiting for this remix for a long time, and it was an absolute pleasure reading the comics, and, uh... We're going to go into a little detail about the Turtles. We're going to get into some action. And of course, we have the Foot Clan. Doing what the Foot Clan does. Robin stealing, basically taking technology, using it, selling it. Basically, industrial espionage for hire. Well, in this reality, that seems what they uh, tend to do. A little killing, a little assassination on the side. You know the Shredder rolls. Well, anyways, this woman is explaining the story from her perspective of how all of a sudden the doors were kicked in, but instead of men, they weren't men. They were like creatures. Turtles. And, of course, fearing what she does not understand, she, makes, she mistakes the brothers for evil creatures as she's explaining this to none other than the Batman, the defender of Gotham. And thus starts off our story and Batman's quest for these turtles in Knights in a Half Shell. Turtle power, had to say it. I do love the artwork. And of course, of course, we have to start off with one of the favorite Ninja Turtle tropes. After kicking some butt, after kicking some major shell, as always, it's pizza time. They leave the money right on a little sign, tell them to put the pizza down, and bam, Raphael snatches it up. Mm-mm-mm, pizza. And uh, as Batman's back working in his uh, bat cave, doing what Batman does, working on the case, working on other cases, he has a conversation with Alfred, and this is uh, the week you know, before the anniversary of his parents, and he always seems more driven. He always seems to push him more towards the dark. It seems to move him in that direction. Meanwhile, Croc, Killer Croc, is, and this is a little time later, of course, time has lapsed. He's kind of on the run from Batman. He has his remote control Batman device to tell him where the Batmobile is. So they've been wandering around the sewers, kind of trying to escape him holding the object of their desire <laughs> whatever it is croc cho choose to steal at this time and they run into a a fortress of some kind some kind of area and of course there's a video game that he does not like uh death laser pony racers and crushes it and as always he crushes it gets a good laugh you know it's kind of funny how he just <laughs> And meanwhile, back the foot are at it again. Robin stealing, dealing, do whatever they can for the Foot Clan. Because you know Shredder has that master plan. Well, anyways, they attack and they find the lab technicians aren't exactly what they're supposed to be. It's all an elaborate hoax, an illusion, a magic trick done by science, of course. <laughs> we say magic is science we don't understand. But anyways, there's Batman ready to lay the smack down on all these ninjas and get some information but he needs to know where the turtles are since he thinks they're the ones that have been causing all this and the, these ninjas are their sidekicks but back at the turtle lair it's the turtles and they take out croc stooges first and croc wonders what the hell is going on of course the other thugs begin to open fire but Raphael catches the machine gun with a sigh. And our big battle melee begins, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. They take one guy out, and there's Croc, ready, growling, wanting a fight. And the turtles are wondering if he's another mutant of some kind. <laughs> Maybe a distant relative. Maybe Leatherface's relative. You don't know who that is? Look it up in turtle lore. But our fight's about to begin. And for Michelangelo's pony racers, the boys get down and they begin a Royal Rumble with Croc 
Killer Croc. It's Turtle versus Crocodile, y'all. Let's get ready to rumble. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Oh, you gotta love this comic. Gives you a little bit of everything. And of course, Batman is doing what Batman does. Putting the fear of Gotham in some ninja's eyes. And then just when he's about to spill everything, a ninja star comes out of nowhere. Whoop! Takes him out right in the neck. Batman stops to stare. And he looks at the face of his true opponent. Aroto, Aroko Saki. The Shredder. And of course, the Shredder has no fear. This man in a bat costume. Look at his costume. He's used to a certain amount of theatrics as well. And him and Batman have this moment, I guess you could say. But still, Batman, deducing this may be the main boss, and the Turtles may be a sidekick, still is looking for the Turtles. Shredder drops a smoke bomb, and just like Batman, because he has the same kind of ninja ability, vanishes without a trace, leaving Batman to utter the word turtles as they seem to be the link between all this and what's going on now the turtles have thoroughly laid the smack down on croc and uh they're wondering how he got in and now they're a little upset because now they have to move since their lair has been discovered and basically a lot of their stuff's been broken and destroyed all in all a bad night and as the boys get a little advice from Splinter on what to do, since he is the guiding hand, they go up top and they check out one of the sweetest rides ever. And Donatello declares, I'm in love. She's beautiful. And the Batmobile always is. <laughs> yep. But Michelangelo catches something in the darkness. Something foreboding. It's Batman looking down upon them. And he finally finds what he's looking for, and he says the word, Turtles. What will happen next? What will go on? I think he might be ready for a rumble. Batman versus the Turtles, everyone. And we're going to see how that turns out the next time. And as always, this is the Comic Outlaw, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.